Do you have multiple systems in your smart home? Are you looking for an easier way to manage all those devices? Would you like a way that would work across multiple platforms? I'm talking Mac, Linux, you name it. Well, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to do this using Heimdall. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about managing all your smart home devices using Heimdall. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as Amazon Flash Briefing or podcast. Please go to techbytesrunnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. We're going to be talking about how to manage your smart home systems using Heimdall. First, we're going to go over what is Heimdall, then we'll show you how to install Heimdall, and then how to get it up and running and getting it as close as you can to what's going to serve your needs best. Well, I don't know about you, but it seems like the more smart home devices I add to my network that don't have their own little app, ends up I've got yet another URL or something else that I have to remember to be able to manage them. Because not everything fits in with Home Assistant. And even if it does, sometimes you still need a, another way of looking at the devices. So that's what kind of led me to Heimdall. And Heimdall is deceptively simple. And it's one of the things that if you don't have it on your smart home network, you really should have it as soon as possible. So let's switch over to that. Okay, is it basically a menuing system? Yeah, but there's there's a lot you can do with it. And I'm going to show you just the basics because this is how I've been managing my own smart home for several months. And it's not limited to devices that are running on just one system. If you get an IP address, you can get into it. For example, we'll go in to Pi-hole. And see, it takes me right in. Then it's just a matter of my logging in to get 20. But yet, see, you've still got this other tab open over here. If you've got Unify, if you've got Home Assistant. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a few things already on my smart home network, but this is one of the things that makes it easy. So if you want to go into Home Assistant, I just click a Home Assistant. It loads up the URL. I don't have to remember the port number and the all the different pieces you've got to have on the URL line to get it to work. So it's just like you brought it up natively. So you really can't get much easier than that. If you really want to get under the hood with Heimdall, go to Heimdall.site. This is what's going to help you see everything that's going on. You can see what issues they're having, news, videos, anything. This is the place probably to start to get you moving forward. Well, now that you've seen what Heimdall is, Let's go about getting it installed. Now, I've run mine on top of Unraid. If you don't have Unraid, something you really ought to look at because it's a great way of having a ex very expandable storage system so you don't do like I did several years ago and end up with a bunch of individual hard drives, which I'm still kind of cleaning up when, when time permits. And this is a very low impact service to run or app to run on top of Unraid. You can also run on top of Raspberry Pi. Since it uses Docker, it's just a matter of getting it installed. But since I use Unraid for just about everything, that's how I'm going to show you to do it today. So I went into the Apps tab and searched for Heimdall, even though I didn't fully spell it. Then we will click Install. Choose a branch to install. Go through here. I'm not going to worry about port 443, but we are going to go down here and we're going to go to Custom BR0 because I want it to have its own IP address. So on dot. 254 and then we've got that okay click apply it'll take it just a little bit to install here because it's going to go out and pull the latest image for docker okay as you can see that's pretty much the install process so we'll click on okay then we'll go back over here to docker and it shows as being started. Now, something to remember, when you're working on Unraid, make sure you click auto start. Otherwise, when you restart Unraid, the service won't restart. Now, something to remember, when you're installing Heimdall, it's gonna take a few minutes to get everything in place. So if we go in here, now this, this is because it's an Unraid, but it should be able to give you an idea when you're installing through, if you're doing Docker through command line. When I first tried to get in, it was giving me fits and saying not responding. And then I came down here and said, saw so creating an app key. This may take a while on a slower system. Well, this is not a slower system, but it still took a few minutes. And that's where being able to see the logs will give you an idea of when it's ready. And so once it's gotten through all this and it says, con init 
D done, services D done. Okay, at that point, it's got a little bit of cleanup and then it's ready to go. So the first time you go in, this is what you're looking at. So we'll just type AdGuard, since that's one of the apps that I've got. We'll, I'll just, no, I'm not gonna call it AdGuard Home. No, we're just, they're, they're, AdGuard has multiple options and we'll just call it AdGuard. And then we will type 10.0.1.8. Okay, so it's upload an icon. So let's go to AdGuard Home. Okay, that's simply not, okay, they've changed it a little bit. Okay, AdGuard Home. Ah, it just took it a second. Okay, had to go download. Okay, patience is a virtue, but sometimes, you know, we want this now. So we've got what we need to here, and we will click save. And it'll come back just a minute. So you've got now got your first app on here. So to use it, literally, it's just click on it. And I already logged in through another browser. So that's it's that simple. But since I'm not putting everything in DNS, and I have a tendency to change things around a little bit, that makes it, a little bit different so when you get ready to go add another one okay now that you've got your first app in place now it's just a matter of adding others so you'll go down here to the three what i call the three horizontal bars and we can click add and it's just lather rinse and repeat it just like you've already done before and this is you know just the very basics of getting it up and running but this is something that makes your unrate server kind of the key point of your smart home network and even if you're running this on raspberry pi same thing you can that's the beauty of, of having something like this running under docker is that that way you have more than one thing running on like i said this is a low impact low overhead service so this is going to be something that's good for raspberry pi whatever it is and this helps you decide well do you want to have your own internal dns or you just want to go to things by ip addresses so that's the decision you can make. But again, this gets you up and running with Heimdall and really is pretty straightforward. You, it's supported on a lot of different platforms. I've got it running under Unraid, but again, with it being on Docker, you can put it on Raspberry Pi. You know, your limit is going to be only the platforms that you get Docker on. So as you can see, very useful to have. And I think it's something that you need to take a look at and get running on your own network today. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.